Walk us through a little bit of the process of developing and the timeline associated with a new boat. Okay, uh, obviously the size of the boat is, uh, you know, it'll change significantly on the size of the boat. Um, sure. But I would say, you know, it's anywhere from two to three years on most product when you start talking about it or we get the green light to say, okay, we're going to go after product ABC. So then we'll, there's always quite a lot of homework done on, you know, where do we want to be in that market? What is, what, what are the factors of that market? What are we looking for if I take the 70 which has been probably four years from the time we started maybe even closer to five right. um, because the first year was purely about surveying customers and potential customers and and when I say surveying it wasn't you know it was a, a, a super detailed you know what you know why why is a monohull by you know a monohull guy that bought a 70 footer why didn't he consider uh so getting in touch with those folks and you know would right. they consider and if they did what would they want to see um and then also talking to uh catamaran owners and asking them what do they really like what don't they like so extensive uh laundry list put together which then we get to work with the designers and uh, the you know, then you go through the morphing of the boat, gets a bit longer, a bit shorter, a bit wider, a bit narrower, and uh, eventually you start pinning that down and you really sort of start locking into it. Um, and, you know, then you go through the process of the, the, the design back and forth and back and forth and right. feedback from different people. And, um, and you know, feedback's always interesting because it's a, um, it's a, um, you know, a lot of feedback you sometimes get of what people have seen on other boats and what, you know, I think it was uh, one of the favorite sayings that I've always lived by. I don't remember who said, I think it was Jobs or somebody like that. But, you know, you, you got to know what customers want before they know they want it themselves. Right. Um, <laughs> that, that is something that I've always really tried to drive on is like, okay, I hear you now, but you can get that today. Um, so that doesn't give us a competitive advantage. What gives us the competitive advantage? So, um, you know, and, the, and, the, and it was quite simple on the Kilo 70. I mean, there were you know, a couple of things that came down actually were, you know, a lot of folks didn't like the boxy look of catamarans and particularly people that owned yachts. So in other words, you know, Sun Seekers or Azimuts or, you know, really good looking boats. They said, well, they'd, they'd really like to consider a cat because of the space and the stability in that. But man, they don't want to have one of those, you know, they don't want they don't want a boat that looks boxing. Clearly we said, okay, we're gonna come with a more stylish, more streamlined boat. And then speed was another thing is, you know, a lot of the power cats out there, you know, 15, 20 knot boats, and these guys are saying, no, they want to be able to get, you know, 27, 28 knots. So th those were sort of the so that was, you know, and then you go through all that and then you start creating the 54 was sort of the follow on between a 44 and a 70. So keeping the styling of the 70, right. but on a smaller, you know, on a smaller boat, the challenge you have with cats is you've got bridge deck clearance, then you've got standing headroom in the salon and you've got standing headroom on the fly bridge. So the shorter the boat is, you still need almost the same height off the waterline as you do on a big boat. So it gets, the longer you get, the easier it gets um, from a styling point of view. The shorter you right. get, the tougher it is. So, but yeah, that, so those are all the processes. On some boats, we will elect to build just the hull first. So do the hull mold and then run like a 36. We And a new little 28 we're doing where we launched the first hull and ran extensive tests with different weights, different balance, you know, fuel tank locations. Um, so if we're sort of venturing into a new market, we'll, we'll do quite extensive testing. The 70, we did a lot of tank testing, um, CFD analysis as well. Um, and we, you know, we've got a couple of other boats on the go with some other designers now where we're doing uh, sort of tank testing seems to be pretty much, you know, the past now and it's all CFD analysis, which is pretty but it, it's pricey and it's, um, you know, you've got to run a lot of different iterations of sure, sure. the shapes. And um, so, yeah, it, it can be anywhere from two to four years, depending what the product is.